Hi everybody, we have got a slightly unusual episode coming for you today, which happened a little bit just on the fly. Would that be a fair way to put it? I think that would be very fair. But before we get into that, just tell us a little bit about what was this piece that you were delivering? So it was a black and white um, piece on paper. The show is a watercolour exhibition, but anything on paper created with water-based media was eligible. And I, somebody was asking me, why did you choose this painting to submit? And I realised the true answer is that I was a little bit uncomfortable about it. It was a bit vulnerable for me. This one felt a bit more out on a limb. And I just thought, well, maybe that's the right one to submit. So, so it's um, a large black and white, entirely black and white piece in mostly acrylic ink with some acrylic paint and pencil and mixed media. And it's way too big to have submitted to an exhibition <laughs> that far away. <laughs> so it took quite a bit of lugging across London. And if I have to come and pick it up again, it's going to take quite a bit of lugging back again. So here's the conversation we had. As I say, bear with us on the sound quality, but we hope that the kind of natural nature of this more than makes up for it. Here we go. So who painted this one? I think it's somebody called Karen Griffiths. Let me just check. It was a affordable art fair purchase. A couple of, yeah, Karen Griffiths. New so got York a date. Cars, it's called. 05. Some of it's got these tiny little bits, but overall it's just simple shapes, you know. Yeah. It's, but she knows what she's doing, you know, where to place things. Yeah. Anyway, do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. Too early for biscuits? Up the stairs. So this, last time I came here, this was open spacious paintings on the walls yeah you were working in here now it's well it's like a film studio <laughs> it's like it's very professional looking this setup of the so there's a setup of webcam phone holder and ring light all on clips clipped to a yeah. table overlooking another table it's very it looks complicated. But you could do that in front of, if you had your table in front of a set of shelves, you could clip on, couldn't you? Yeah. You only screw that, only that, screw on. that yeah. bit on. Mm. That's not so bad. It means getting that screwdriver though, doesn't it? No, you just twist the little knobby. Oh, okay. You can do that. Yeah. Twist yeah. the knobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small thing. It's as technical as we get. I was like, oh good, okay, quickly <laughs> varnish it before yeah. you change your mind. <laughs> cardboard box. Well, do you know Every what? Room if it's paintings <laughs> or cardboard or a, a, a cutting mat on the dining room floor. Yeah. Or, yeah I'm room. not very good at putting things away. <laughs> or thought, you give up. This is the choice, isn't it? You either keep going. Or you give up. That's what we were talking about up. last night after a big gin and tonic. <laughs> so off we go. Driving in London. I can't believe you do it. Right, here we are then. Oh my god! Look at all the space! I shouldn't have come here, should I? Because I'll be going back to it. It's not big enough, I need to change. Love, love, love. Pinboard? No, no, that painting. Oh, there. That's very different. Here. They're all very different, aren't they? They're loose, though, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I like that one too. That's like. That's right. also another pair. Shall I do that annoying thing where I tell you why it is that you paint? <laughs> I love that the looseness of it. They're really soft, and I know that's what you were wanting to get more of. Yeah. And they really are. Like these are just. They're really. They're doing my head in a bit. Because they're not you, but they are you. Imagine it's what like it's seeing, doing to me. It's like seeing another side of you. Let's put the heat on, shall we? And it's not even cold in here now, but it isn't that cold there. It's, it's not that cold, but it does get a little bit. It does, it does get cool. So the things you said you wanted, yeah. large areas of fluid paint. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Limited colour, I'm not sure. Well, flat colour sections. Some. Yeah. 
I think this, the kind of, I haven't got this yet, this level of kind of purity and covering things up. Um, Looking at all the different things. That, you see, that it's one it. is the beginning of the bright yellow one. Oh, is it? Yeah, look, back in my home studio. This little, just, just this, the way things are cropped, this has been on my mood board for two years. Right. And I still haven't got to that stage of purity, I guess. These are quite graphic. Yeah. But these have gone well softer and looser. That one's quite, that's got to be graphic parts to it. I think it's, it's, it's the divisions it's the of right space, way. isn't it? Like, if you come closer to this, there are, Lots you know, these bits, sections yeah. of softness. Yeah. But when you come back from a distance, you've basically got one side, which is pale and smoother and, you know, has got these bright parts. And then this from a distance looks like a single dark, but yet if you come close to it, yeah, there's all then that it isn't, the there's all that in it. I think of a mixture of loose and scribbly and straight lines, and that's all soft. It's very, like, modern Turner. It's got that. <laughs> put that, <laughs> put that in your uh, uh, blurb on your flyer. That one's very exciting. That was the one that again, that's really different. It always looks dark. They've just moved on. They've just way. moved. It's just next stage stuff, isn't yeah. it? But I think it's all so intangible until you start doing it. And I don't, I don't think you can predict any of it. Like I've got, I need to go through my camera roll and find all the early versions of these ones. Where I think I posted them at one point on Instagram and somebody said, oh, it's done, leave it. But it wasn't for me. Yeah. And again, you know, people could look, I think I took one home and Paul said, well, that's not finished. <laughs> but it is for me. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Again, this is you, but not you. And I'm trying to think of the words for it. So you always have all the layering colours and bits showing through from prior things, prior layers. But there's something about the way this is done that's different. Maybe it's because you've left that bright or maybe it's the looseness of this and it's not so I think so I've graphic. been trying not to tidy things up quite yeah, so much. I think that's maybe what it yeah. is. Yeah, and this was the starting point for that one. Like really letting... And it's funny because I thought that I hadn't actually changed this a lot. I just... But then the other day I found how it looked last summer. And I have, I've just kind of, I always think of it as, I don't know why, I always think of it as like ladies with corsets. Yeah. It's just that kind of tightening into place somehow. Yeah. Um, and last summer it wasn't, but that's how long it's taken. That's a year I've been working on that. It's not that, all the time. Is that a metre or is it bigger? That's a metre. It's hard to tell in here. Because it's so big, everybody. I know. It's not so diddy. Things. Diddy little ones. Love. Isn't it funny how you go into a room and there's one painting in the room that you absolutely love? Is that one done? Yeah. Uh, that one's done. That one is yummy. Oh, that one's absolutely yummy. Some not. Pros in process. Right. I'll see so you we later. Have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Tucking that one into your bag, yeah. are you? <laughs> I love that. I love how you just start and then each one just becomes its own thing. Yeah. And some go fast and some go slow. That's got this nice texture and what's that? Is that collage -y stuff, yeah. Collage and torn off, I think. Yeah. Like a pattern though in there. So, let's just have a little look so everybody can see the general mess. Look, none of this has been tidied. So this is how it is. Hooks, reminders for forgetful people. Uh, dog blanket that she's not that happy with. So then I have the working space. I have those photography lights down there. This supposedly was desk space, but actually ends up being propped painting space. So then I bought new trestle tables. So I have been using these to lay out all the mid-sized ones on. A um, couple more over here. I rather like this one. Right, hello. So we just should say hello. <laughs> Oh no, look. 
Can we say hello after I've, I've been able to look in the mirror when yeah, I dried my hair? Right up here. And I'll go like this. Hello, everybody. <laughs> anyway, we thought it would be fun to do this together while we're here, but it's been it's a bit wobbly and the sound is probably shocking. Yeah, and you might not be able to hear us. But... And I just always loved these kind of industrially buildings. Yeah. And I was driving around and saying, oh, I don't know, there's just something like, oh, what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? But it doesn't feel cold or empty or industrial in here. It feels... What, have you not seen all the rats by the bins? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was didn't tell me that when I said I'd come here. <laughs> they are there because of the restaurants, but... Do you ever see them in here? No. No, no, no. Okay. no but it feels it warm and it feels light and it feels yeah. just a really nice space to be in. Feels like my space finally now. Yeah. It's taken a while. Everyone warned me if I came to London, I was going to get coronavirus. No, this is staying up till two o'clock okay, in the good. morning virus. <laughs> um, we will have images for some of them um, on the... Wait, the dog's having a scratch. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> oh. 